Hey guys, how are you? Hope you all are doing very well. And here in this video, we will discuss that how to start the preparation for GATE 2021. So basically, guys, before starting preparation of GATE 2021, there are some important points that you need to consider before starting actual preparation. The very first point is that the GATE exam preparation requires consistency. However, the syllabus is not that much wide and not that much lengthy, but consistency is the key because it is a technical exam, purely technical exam. So consistency matters here. The second very much important point here is that you need to have knowledge of each and every topic of the syllabus because we don't know that from which topic they may ask the questions. It is completely unpredictable exam. You can't predict the questions area and you can't predict the level of questions. You can't predict the logic of questions before attempting exam because every time gate exam uh, failed the assumptions of the faculties, right? So you just need to have knowledge of each and every topic. And one more important point is that GATE exam didn't repeat its single question till that. That is why you need to know each and everything from your syllabus. Now just example if you are a computer science student, then the very first step in the preparation is just categorize the subjects according to the weightage of their marks. In computer science if we talk, Data structures and algorithm basically they consist of 22 marks each year means on an average 7 to 8 marks from data structures, 7 to 8 marks from programming, 7 to 8 marks from algorithm. So consisting comprising of uh, algorithm and data structure at least 22 marks is there. It may go 25, it may go 20 but on an average if you talk 22 marks average is there from DSA till that till this year. So we need to learn these subjects at the early stage so that we can cover at least our 25% syllabus in first or first and half month so that it can uh, it can get us some important uh, confidence and important uh, areas of the questions that may asked in the gate exam. After that, you can consider engineering mathematics because on an average 15 marks is there it might go to 15 to 18 marks it might go 12 to 15 but on average 15 marks engineering mathematics is there and in that also the topic is not that much wide you have uh, a, a small topic of probability but probability is a level of questions are very much better in computer science if we talk in terms of probability then the best probability is question is gate exam however if you are from any branch but if you really want to prepare for probability for your gate exam then solve all the questions of gate computer science for probability because the levels questions are asked and each year two to three marks questions are from this topic itself after that combination and permutation a small topic is there set theory is there and graph theory is there basically from graph theory the weightage of graph theory is much more under engineering mathematics for computer science students and then integration is there but uh, not that much uh, difficulty level questions asked from integration basically they just check your uh, basic knowledge of integration right so after completion of the dsa you can go through the engineering mathematics and after completion of each subject, you can go through the previous year's questions of there. Means after completion of DSA, just go through all the previous year questions because how to complete the syllabus now? Suppose you have took DSA at first, then just go through all the notes very first at all the notes. And if not, you are finding that you don't have confidence over any single topic or any topics, just make list of them and you can go through Corman book for DSA. It's a very best book and uh, directly questions may ask in many, many exams from this book. So you can refer Corman and complete all the topics from there. And after that, there is a time to pass up your concept. So you, uh, the best way to pass up concept for the gate exam is to take previous year's questions. So solve all the previous year's questions at least 15 to 20 years questions you need to solve 
do similarly for engineering mathematics also after that you can choose some important subjects like computer networks theory of computation compiler design computer organization dbms operating systems digital electronics computer architecture and organization like that and one by one try to complete each and every subjects and after completion of each and every subject just go through their previous years papers previous year questions so that you can get at least the knowledge that uh, what kind of questions they are asking from your syllabus from your content and how much you are prepared till now once you have completed all the notes of all the subjects it is time to take a mock test so first you need to go through the subject uh, topic wise mock test so for each and every topic just go through the topic wise mock test there and after that just try to complete subject wise mock test because if you will take any test series majorly the uh, most uh, uh, most ranked or what to say means most uh, valued test series for the gate in our uh, online platforms are considered for s academy or maybe more mad easy so you can choose any of them and just go through there you will found that there, there, there are several test mock test topic wise after that you can take subject wide mock test and after that you can take complete test in which all the subjects will be there so just need to consider each and every topic there while preparing your gate syllabus so you can start with the most weighted topic first so that you can get uh, uh, because at the very what what do students do now they start with the easier subjects and then later they just uh, get when when they uh, when they face the uh, difficult subjects or the most weighted subject their energy is down so the book is also there one book is also there eat the frog so in that the summary of that book is do the difficult task first so that because at the initial stage you have much energy you have much confidence you have much uh, uh, what to say you have much excitement while preparing so it uh, do very difficult task at your first stage so that uh, much difficult task should be ended and after that you just left with the easier task so do difficult subjects first after that go to go to the easier subjects or in the diff we can also make a list of difficult subjects plus weighted wise so the average of difficult plus uh, uh, difficult plus uh, uh, basically there is nothing like difficult because in gate exam 40 percent questions are very easier category other 40 percent categories are of medium level and next 20 percent are mis miscellaneous means only 20 percent questions are difficult in that exam but for the preparation point of view go through the bigger subjects first and then come come with the uh, easier or what to say means to the uh, small subjects later then means do the digital electronics at the last because it is very small subjects right attempt bigger bigger subjects at the first stage like D, uh, dsa like computer organization architecture engineering mathematics like that and then go uh, then after that you can do the remaining ones right and one by one go through their notes after that do their previous year questions once completing whole syllabus, go through topic wise uh, mock test. After that, go through subject wise mock test. After that, go to complete test series. So, this will be more than sufficient to get a good rank if you will start right from here because you have much and more time. And you can also go through important books and you can also go through each and every year's questions and you can also enjoy while preparing because you have much and more time if you will just start from here. So guys, I hope this video will helpful to you. And if you have any kind of queries or doubts regarding preparation of your gate exam, then you can comment so that I can answer your all the queries and doubts and stay in touch while preparing so that uh, if you need any kind of help, we can provide that. Thank you so much, guys. Have a very, very nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.